Hi kids, my name's Nicole and this is Let's Make Art and you're here to paint with us again and we are so excited because today, guess what? <laughs> Make a toucan noise. I, <laughs> I don't know what toucans do. I don't know actually, but we're going to be painting a toucan together. So. What I want you to do is I want you to grab out your supplies. We are going to be using, it actually already comes with a printed outline. Now, if you don't have a piece of paper that looks like this, ask a grown up, say, hey, I wanna paint that toucan with them and ask them to go to our website and find our rainbow toucan project and download it. Or it might be in the link right here. But, so I want you to do that and if you need to, you go to a window when it's light outside and you trace it. So that's how you can get this outline. Then, the other supplies that we are using are is a brush, because we're painting with watercolors, a cup of water, and I'm gonna show you the three colors that we are continuing to use, or that we're using right now. The first one is magenta, or if you don't have magenta, find a red, that also works. And then we're using a yellow and a blue. We are going to mix more colors with that because you can see on our toucan right now, there's lots of different colors in the black. So we're gonna do that together. Then the other thing is if you notice on here is I outlined my toucan with a crayon at the very end. So if you have a crayon, go and grab that. If you don't, that's not a step that you need to do. But if you have that, go and do that. Oh, and also last thing, can you see how on here there are these explosions on here? Is that a good shot to see from the side? Explosions. Explosions? They're, they're like, they look like little, little explosions. Itty, itty they're explode. made by salt. So, ah. if you have a salt packet, go grab that or ask an adult, say, hey, can I go, can I grab a little bit of salt? You only need a few pinches. A lightly seasoned paper is yeah. required. <laughs> okay, so our first step to painting our rainbow toucan is we're going to be painting the black body right here. So it's our wings and the body part. So to make black, what you're going to do is have your palette and I want you to mix the three colors that we have. So we're gonna mix our magenta, yellow, and I did maybe do three drops of each, see what happens. So I do three drops of each or just a small amount. You're gonna dip your brush in water we're gonna mix it around. Ooh, what did we get? I found a two counts, two can sound. Yeah? Yeah, do you wanna hear it? Yeah. Okay, let me try and let me try and play it for I you. I got really excited. It's really cool. <laughs> Keep going, I'll play it randomly. <laughs> okay, it'll be a surprise. Mm -hmm. Oh, I realized we need to introduce Keenan. Do you wanna oh. come and say hi to everyone? Oh hello! So if you've been painting with us, you know who he is, but this is our cameraman Keenan who gives us some fun facts. Hello there. <laughs> Welcome to Let's Make Art. <laughs> so he's here with us. And I got so excited to paint with you. So I want to do our motto, which we do together here at Let's Make Art. So if you can raise your right hand before we start painting and repeat after me. I am brave. I am brave. I am kind. I am kind. And I am creative. And I am creative. Let's do this. <clears throat> cool, we fist pump. Now we are ready. Okay, so. We, you saw earlier that I mixed the three colors together and we made black. That's so cool. So let me show you. See, if you mix these three, you get black. That is a good color. Which is so much fun. So what we are going to do is we're gonna dip in water. Just have a little bit of water in there, pick up the color, and then I want you to paint the in full body. Now, when we do this, it's okay if you paint outside the lines. Maybe you want a smaller paintbrush if that will help you, but just go ahead and paint. So we are painting the black body part. Now, I just realized though, you know what? If your toucan does not have a black body and you want to be creative, and maybe it's a green toucan. Yeah, ooh. Who knows if that exists? I'm sure it does, a yellow toucan. Maybe it's your favorite color, whatever that might be. Yeah, you can paint this any color. Do you want to hear the toucan sound? Do it. Okay, here we go. Hopefully we can hear it. I thought that I would think that's a pig. That's more of a toucan. That, <gasps> I think there's a lot of 
a lot of sounds that it makes, but... Whoa. Isn't that so interesting? That is very interesting. Wow, that is not what I was expecting. That's fun. <laughs> well, thanks for sharing that. You're welcome. <laughs> so, now, when you are done with painting your black body, body part, now we are going to mix our rainbow colors. Because on our toucan, if you look at the beak, they're all different colors. So, we have our three primary colors. But guess what? We can make more together because that's what we do. We mix colors. So we're going to do the rainbow right here. So we have our magenta or if you have red and then we're going to make orange and then we have yellow. So to make, make orange, you're going to mix the two colors right here. So you're going to do red. Now remember the red or the magenta you have is strong. So we only need one drop of that. And then maybe let's do three drops of our yellow. And then I'm going to grab my paper to see what color I got. Woohoo! Nice orange. There's our orange. Now let's continue with our rainbow. So it goes red, orange, yellow, green. So green is yellow and blue. And now this is the same thing where the blue is really strong. So let's do one drop of blue and three drops of yellow. And let's see what we get. Green. Now, I want to show you another trick. What happens if we mix yellow and green together? What do you think we get? Do you know? Let's see. What do you think it is? So if you mix them together, I don't know. Let's see. Okay. Okay, let's see. So I'm going to add more yellow. Oh, yeah. I'm going to add more yellow to my green. Let's just experiment. Mmm. Mm. Didn't change too much, so let's try more. What happens if I add a lot of yellow? Mm, let's see, we'll do it right here. Ooh. Ooh. Do you see that? That's like a light green. Yeah. Like a, a yellow green. Yeah, or a lime green. Lime. So, you just made a whole nother color. So this is the cool thing. There's so many different colors that you can mix. So you get to decide which ones you want to do. Now, I like that lime color for right now. And let's see, oh, we have one more color. We need to make purple. So purple is blue and red together. Now they are pretty similar in strength. So I'm gonna do two of each and let's see what happens. Oh, when we, whenever we change color, remember to wash in your water to clean off your brush. There's a really pretty purple. Ooh. So now we have our whole rainbow to paint our rainbow toucan. Now, when we are going to paint our beak, so when you are doing this, if you have this, I want to show you is you can flip this over and there's a picture of a toucan. Maybe can we do a side view of this? Is that a good spot? A little bit to the right. Other, other, there you go. <laughs> okay. So here is a photo of a toucan that I found, and you can see how there's so many different colors. A little farther to the right again. In this beak. And up. Somehow you moved. Is that good? You were now? flying around like a toucan. <laughs> okay, is that good? That's great. Okay, so now if you can look again, as you can see there's so many different colors in this beak. So I'm gonna use all the colors that I mix and kind of mix them together to make a really pretty rainbow beak. Mm. So, let's see. I'm gonna use this as an example. So if you want to do this with me, I'm gonna just pick some colors. Now, if you want to mix or make yours look different, pick any color you like. I'm just gonna show you how to do this one. So we have a magenta that's on the tip and I'm gonna start over here. Whoa. Yeah. Two things. Yes. One, look how bright that pink is. <laughs> yeah. Two, how long do you think toucans live? Oh, I have no idea. 12 um, to 20 years. Oh, I was trying to think. I have no idea even how I long I don't know a lot about birds. Now. Yeah, hmm. 12 to 20, okay. Yeah, nice. Okay. <laughs> 
So we got that color. Now I'm going to keep going and I really like this orangey color so I'm going to mix that in. Now when you pick a second color, what I want you to do is if they are close, because this is close on the rainbow because red is close to orange, so if they touch, I'm just going to go on top of it and blend it like that. So that will blend together just like that. Now, let's see, let's keep going. What else do we have? So we have some a touch of blue. Let's pick that up right here. And then when I'm doing this, I'm going to look at the green, which is right here. Let me wash off my brush, and that's that lime green. I'm gonna pick that up. And we're gonna paint this part. Now, if the colors blend, that's cool. They'll touch together and they'll move. Boom. Okay, so now we have our green beak. Oh, there's a little bit right here. Okay, now we let's keep painting the rest I guess it's the eye, so it's so cool when you look at this, do you see how this is the beak part, but this is still part of the body, but it's this lime green and yellowish color. So we're gonna paint that part right now. Mm. So I'm gonna paint around my eye. I'm gonna do the eye last. So let's keep going. And then we got some yellow right here. Actually, there's a fun fact that I learned on on your sheet. And it's that toucans, they're long, these long beaks grab fruit on branches that other birds cannot reach. Oh. So they get all the, the good stuff. All the good fruits. That you can't get into. <laughs> okay, that was just a fun fact that I remember what I wanted to say. That's a great fact. <laughs> okay, so we have our beak and the rest of our body body painted. Now the next step is our toucan is perched on a branch or a tree or a broom or a broom. <laughs> so let's paint that right now. So to make brown, what we're going to do is it's close to black, but what we're going to do is we're going to use magenta. So let's do three drops of magenta, maybe three drops of yellow. And here's the difference between black and brown is let's just add one drop of blue and let's see what happens. Mm. We might need to play with it a little bit, but. Oh, wow. Ooh, whoa. That's a red. That is so pretty. Ooh, that's nice. Ooh, it's nice. like a maroon. Yeah, that's pretty. Ooh, isn't there some wood that's this color? Yes. Cherry wood? We'll say cherry and maybe red wood. Should we do it? Do it. Mahogany? Yeah. yeah. If you want, so I want to show you maybe, so if it's red, maybe we add one more drop of blue. I'll test. Let's see. If you want more of a brown, let's just test and see. Yeah. Mm. It's a little bit more brown. So that's a little bit closer. So you can keep mixing. This is the cool thing. Look at all the colors we yeah, made. There's so many colors there. Isn't that cool. So you can keep mixing until you get the color that you like. I'm going to go, let's see if we mix both of these together. What happens? We'll just go with that color. Why not? Because branches can be, again, Any it's a different type of color. wood. color, yeah. It could be a pole. Maybe it's a rusty <laughs> pole. <laughs> that the toucan is in New York City. Yeah. He randomly just flew he from. He flew there. He flew there and he did not fly <gasps> gracefully. Okay, while I paint my yes. branch and okay. I'll show them, can you make up a story of our toucan, what his name is and where he flew from and where okay. he flew to? Okay. Okay, so we're going to paint this brown part and this is the branch or the pole. What you're gonna do is you're gonna just go across and then stop there and then you're gonna keep going. So while I do that, Kian's gonna tell us a story. So as we all know, the toucans are members of the neotropical near passerine bird family, Ramphastide. And the <laughs> Ramphastide are most, com most closely related to the, the American barbettes. So they're brightly marked and have large, often colorful bills as we now have painted. Uh, they are, let's see, where do they primarily live? Let me look into that. Because I Tropical think- Tropical places. Yeah, bright, I think. you would think. So let's see, let's see specifically. That way we can have like, 
an, a place. <laughs> okay, while Keenan is looking at, because we're gonna keep learning about this R2 can that we're painting, is, so I painted this part, but while he's looking, I want to start to paint the background. So what I'm gonna do is I have my green, so I envisioned the toucan because I thought of a tropical place, but maybe yours is just in the sky and it's a blue background. Maybe it's really hot or maybe the sun is setting. Ooh. So you get to pick, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use green, but I want to mix different colors of green because we have some lime green, we have some darker green. So I'm on my palette, I'm gonna mix See, I got a lot going on. So I'm gonna mix a few different greens while we're doing this, and then I'm gonna start to paint. So, Keenan, keep, keep telling us stories. Okay, so, as I've discovered, and as we all know, toucans live in Central or South American rainforest canopies. They rarely travel to the ground, but when they do, such as our toucan, they often like to visit rusty poles in New York. And they don't go alone. They're a very social bird. So they go in flocks. Mm. Okay. So we're gonna say that we're gonna say that uh, we're gonna call him Reginald <laughs> because I get to create this story and it doesn't have to be geographically correct with names. So Reginald said, "You know what, buddies? We need to fly to New York as ungracefully and awkward as we can because we have huge beaks." So that's why they fly, that's why they're not graceful in the sky, because it's awkward for their heads to move. <laughs> oh. Go ahead. What were you gonna say? Can I can I say something? Yes, teach before us. This Tell happens? us. Okay, okay. But I still want to hear all this story about Reginald and how he got here and whatnot. Perfect. But before while I wanted to show you, because it's still wet, is I want you to grab your salt. Now it's okay if it starts to dry, but we'll just add water. Is I want you to grab some salt. If you have our salt packet, grab that. If you need to go grab some salt out of the kitchen cupboard, go do that. But I just want a little bit and I'm gonna pinch just a few grains and I'm gonna start to sprinkle it. Now, mine kind of dried a little bit. So the trick to this is you're going to make it wet. And then we're gonna to start to add some salt. So this trick will be cool once it dries. So right now it won't look like a lot, but just make sure it's wet and then add some, and then we'll keep painting. So maybe you do a little bit of it and then we're gonna keep painting and then we'll add some salt and then keep going. If you've done salt, you might be able to try sugar. Maybe, we don't know yet. Let us know how it looks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, keep going. So Reginald and his friends, they decided to fly to New York. Notice I did not say they got to New York. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. oh, tricky, That's called tricky. foreshadowing for <laughs> storytellers. So they decide to fly to New York, and that's several, several miles, okay? That's, that's, as the crow flies, thousands of miles, okay? And these are toucans, so crows are unrelated. But they decide to fly as a friendship family through the skies, and they say, hey, we need to make a pit stop by that junkyard. And this is where the rusty pole comes in. So they see this pole and they're like, man, that looks like a tree I've seen back in the hometown treetop canopies of Central or South America. We should see if it feels like a, a tree. Alas, it did not <laughs> feel like a tree. <laughs> oh. But this is when our imagination took a snapshot of our now painted toucan, Reginald. So they're basically just on a road trip with their friends and family friendship time. <laughs> so there's more, there's more toucans, so maybe there's, we need to paint more later. So there's anywhere from zero additional toucans to 12. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so they would need a big van if they drove. Mm, yes. I grew up in those big vans. Where you, when you traveled? Yeah, we traveled or just drove to the store <laughs> Thanks for the story time. You're welcome. This is the, it's not such a fun thing about when you make art and you create something, you get to use your imagination and you get to make up your whole, your own world. Your story. Your story, the name of the character. Yeah. The colors you paint. The salt or sugar you season your paper with. 
Yeah, our paper needs to taste good, so we gotta give it a little bit of salt. So I'm still going now. As you were seeing, I'm picking up different colors. So they're close to each other, but I'm just picking it up. So I'm just kind of blending them together. When they touch, they'll just start to, to blend in the next color. But that's all we're doing is we're just painting the background. And every time you do a different stroke, that watercolor dries in a different way than the other strokes. Yes. So then you get all these cool textures and feelings throughout the whole painting. And that's what so, makes it unique. Yes, you're right. Okay. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a snack break because I realized that I wanna let my background fully dry and then we're gonna go to the next step. So, snack break. So we are back from our snack break. I hope you had a yummy snack. And I took off the tape of my drawing and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lightly take off the salt and you'll start to see some of the cool explosions because the salt dried. So it's a really cool technique. But I'm gonna do that, then, ooh. Then, last step is we're gonna use the black crayon. Now, if you don't have a black crayon, ooh, maybe you use a different color crayon. Or charcoal. <laughs> or you can use a black paint. So you can, there's so many different ways that you can do this. Or a burnt stick. Or, <laughs> okay. So what we're gonna do is let's start with the eye. So when we're looking at the eye, if you look at anything and there's a light shining on us, it has a, you'll have a little, it's called a highlight from the light. So that's what we're gonna do is, how about you draw a smaller circle inside your eye and then color around that and fill in the circle. So that will create that highlight. Nice. Then, I'm just going to trace and outline my bird. Hmm. And if you can't see the lines, you make it up. And when you're doing this, what you can add is crayons add this really cool texture and look. So what if you start to add more of the wings and you color it in like that? Look how cool that adds Ooh, some depth. Ooh, I like that. Maybe you add more lines here. Yeah. So it's just adding some lines to create that, wow. that look. So then we're gonna keep outlining. This would look so cool. Yeah, now it makes me wanna paint more of these, but in different colors. Ooh, that would be fun. Reginald's friends. Reginald's friends. We're all different colors. There we go. Look, so you just completed your project. Beautiful. That was so fun, good job. Oh, so what I want you to do is I want you to hold up what you made. I want you to ask a grown up to take a picture and then say, hey, can you share it in their group? We have a Facebook group called Let's Make Art Kids Projects. We also have an Instagram called Let's Make Art Kids. So we want to see what you made. Tell us what your toucan's name is if you want to tell us a story Tell about us a it. story. <laughs> we love hearing stories. So thank you for painting with me. I'm so proud of you and loved having you with us painting because we're all just friends here. Yes. Always remember that you are brave, kind, and creative, and I'll see you next time for our next painting. Bye.